400. Brent Mabbitt is measuring and weighing fish caught below the 32 foot high Thompson Falls Dam. And this is how he caught them. It's a 45 step, state of the art, tallest of its kind in Montana fish ladder. It rises 72 feet from the Clark Fork River below and was designed by and paid for in full by PPL Montana. Some of the numbers are astounding. They spent a million dollars in research in building the facility, then spent seven and a half million on constructing it. They blew out 2,500 tons of rock and then laid down 1,600 cubic yards of concrete. And it's the first of its kind in the continental United States, built specifically to accommodate threatened bull trout. Because we are a block for bull trout, we need to try to eliminate that block. Of the approximately 1,600 fish that already climbed the ladder this year, very few are bull trout. Just the simple fact that we've only got two of them kind of tells you the plight that they're in. They're in trouble. Here's how the 56-foot long ladder works. Fish are attracted to a small opening at its base by discharged water. Once inside, they swim against a strong current. The individual steps or pools are five feet wide, about six to 10 feet long, and have openings at both the top and bottom of each entrance. And this ladder isn't easy to negotiate. I mean, we've got, it's going through 45 different pools and spills that they're going through. Uh, there's six to nine cubic feet of water spilling through every one of those, so they're fighting fighting velocity. It seems like that drive to go to their natal streams and go to those, you know, where they came from is much greater than some of these other outside factors. The fish eventually reach the final 17 foot deep gathering pool. Working similar to an elevator, the water level rises and the fish come to the surface, where they eventually flop their way toward a holding tank where they're examined, the data recorded, and biologists inject what's called a pit tag into them so they can track the fish movements. On this day, eight fish made the trek, among them rainbow and brown trout, northern pike minnow, and even a smallmouth bass. Then they're released above the dam, their journey complete. It works. We're getting fish over this thing. We've taken away this barrier for fish of moving upstream. I've been a fish biologist for the better part of 35 years, and this is, this is fun to know. We're, we're making a difference here. Heading upstream. Do their thing.